Good evening. This is the market update for buy, sell, short for Thursday, December 13th. A little bit of red in the market today, but we have seen, well, the S&P was up six days in a row and the Nasdaq closed, or the Dow closed barely down yesterday. So a, a little bit of a pause in the market is to be expected. And, you know, as I've remarked in the last few videos, it's still rather remarkable that the market has been able to climb 850 points over the last uh, three, four weeks, despite the fact that these idiots in Washington still cannot come to a deal on the fiscal cliff and appear content to drive us over it. Uh, we had some more back and forth banter today from Boner and the president, and supposedly, you know, we got a, a late day pop in the market from down 90 to down 40 before we sold off again. After uh, there was a news report that they're going to meet at 5 p.m. tonight uh, to discuss it again. You know, as I've said before, we are in the midst of tax law selling right now. So you have to keep a, a mindful eye on what is going on in the market. The market has been, for the most part, ignoring what's been going on in D.C. But uh, the closer we get to Christmas and the closer we get to not having a deal, we're going to see some pressure in the market. Just from the fact of people getting uh, a little bit antsy and the tax sellers taking effect. And, you know, we started seeing a lot of that tax law selling. As I've said, this is typically the week that we see the peak of tax law selling going into the week before Christmas. Does not mean we won't have selling over the next two weeks, but this is typically when you see the highlight or the highs of that kind of selling. So you have to be mindful of that. Looking at the Dow daily chart, you can see after this little pullback, we're right back down to the 50-day moving average. And, you know, we've got support down here at the 13K level. RSI is rolling over a bit. We are overbought on stochastics. And, uh, you know, a little bit of a retrace is not to be expected. As you can see on the 15-minute chart, we were able to get a bounce off the 200-day moving average in this time frame. We bounced. RSI was oversold positive MACD cross and stochastic. So, I mean, just looking at the 15-minute chart, if we get any sort of positive news tonight or in the morning, we could quickly see a nice little bounce back to that 13300 level. But, you know, not going to hold my breath. Uh, and it is a Friday, so let's see how things go. Russell has pulled back over the last couple of days. Small caps tend to see the brunt of tax loss selling this time of the year. So just keep that in mind. If you see a stock falling and you don't see news out there, more times than not, especially this time of the year, it's someone deciding to take the tax loss. Anyway, let's jump into stock plays. Uh, it has been a fantastic week for the plays. Scone, though, uh, you know, it's hard to be annoyed at a 50% winner, but when it was an 80% winner mid-morning, you can get a little bit of annoyed. Scone, very nice breakout. Volume poured into this baby today. We traded as high as 56 cents. I was remarking in the chat room that this kind of action typically means news is out there and has been leaked. And boy, was there news out there and was it leaked. We saw a quick drop from 56 cents down to 45 cents. And then an hour later, lo and behold, we get news that these clowns are doing more financing just a couple of weeks after doing financing. And with the stock trading at 40 plus cents a share, they sold shares at 32 cents. So now you know why it was moving. The crooks knew, they shorted, and down it went. But, you know, we got a 50% gain out of this one. It hit the target zone we have of 45 to 50 cents plus some. We just got a little bit greedy on a half position. You know, it happens. We still walked away with a 40 to 50% gain on this play in a week. So you cannot argue with that. Good thing about today's news, all the way back down, and tax sellers will probably come after it, and we will get to play this puppy yet again into its January event. So, always a silver lining with every play out there in the market. ABIO, kaboom baby, yesterday went boom. Our target was 50 cents, went as high as 52 cents, we booked the gains, and we moved on. Fat little 60% gainer in a couple of days. Uh, just a fantastic market for moves right now. And the penny stocks are doing great. A couple of stocks we're watching right now. RNN uh, 
did its financing. It's holding around the 30 cent level. It bounced back up to this 40, 45 cent level into January. This is a January popper watch play. As is ZBB, uh, solars were very, very hot. This one has had a nice little breakout over the last couple of days. 34 cents is what's going to light this one up for its next little move. So keep an eye on that for a break. Last stock I'm going to go over today, though, is a new play we jumped into. NVTL, Novotel Wireless. Very, very nice breakout of the downtrend. We've got a symmetrical triangle here at 135 today. Down market, very bearish out there today. And this stock bucked the trend on three times average volume, looking very, very nice. This one should con see continuation up to that 50-day moving average tomorrow at a buck 55, and then a full recovery into January up there, 165, 175 area. RSI is breaking the 50 level. Stochastics looks very, very nice. Uh, unbalanced volume looks great, and this is a tech stock 4G rollout wireless play that is trading under cash value it's down 90 percent this year and could be a very nice turnaround story for 2013 especially with our products starting to roll out uh, it starts to get picked up by the mobile carriers and this one could be you know easily trading up here at the 200 day moving average early next year so very nice breakout on this one looking for continuation tomorrow and a gap fill up to that 160 70 area um, and that's it for the video tonight. Not a whole lot to talk about. We've got some active plays, but uh, not ready to go shopping just yet for a, a lot of January popper plays. Let's see what happens. Take it slow. Book the gains as they come and, you know, see where this fiscal cliff uh, takes us. Uh, hopefully it's not going to be a dour cliff miss this year and they're able to come to a deal here in the next few days so that's it for the video if you've got any questions shoot me an email feedback buy sell short.com and i will see you guys in the chat room tomorrow good night